how important God. is how how important is the prophet to these last days in the ministry in the church? It's everything. In Malachi 4, verse 5 and 6, God says, In the last days, I'll send you Elijah the prophet, who will prepare the way and make ready a people for the coming of the Lord. And he said, Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now, Noah started prophesying, There's a flood coming, there's a flood coming. But he couldn't bring redemption to the world, so God had to destroy the whole thing. Now, I mean, this is just one of about ten things the prophets are doing is preparing the way. And then, prophets are in the Bible from... From the Garden of Eden to Genesis 22. Because God prophesied to Adam, prophesied to Eve, and prophesied to the serpent. And then Adam prophesied to his wife. You know, when he, God showed him his wife, oh, wow, you're Eve, the mother of all living. You know, and we've got prophets all the way through. It's the only ministry you have consistently from Genesis to Revelation. Then you have prophets and apostles being killed during the book of Revelation. Some people are going to be surprised. They find they're going to be here to the end. <laughs> and they were going to be here until Jesus comes again. Revelation wasn't just made for some future time. It's made for the church today. And we're right in the middle of the book of Revelation going forward. And to me, the prophetic movement, a picture of it is, or the third reformation rather, which is probably, is from Genesis, uh, Revelation 10, 7, where it says the angel stood one foot on the land, one foot on the sea, and declared, delay shall be no longer. And they said, all the mysteries must be fulfilled. And prophets are here to reveal the mysteries like Paul said he did. And then it said, and they took, he started sounding, the seventh angel started sounding, and it sounded all the way through Revelation 11, where the two witnesses rise up. This is two companies of apostles and prophets that prophesy, and there's a great group of them. And then they, they, they shake up the world, they do things. And then chapter 11, 15, it says, the kingdom of this world have become the king of our Lord and our Christ. So we've we, 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 we got a job to do, and the prophets have got to lead in it. And people say, well, <laughs> I get amazed at some of these preachers, they preach and pray, this is going to happen in Revelation, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. But don't worry about it, you'll be out of here before that happens. I said, why preach it to them if they're going to be gone? <laughs> you know? That's right. And I, I understand how they got rapture in chapter 4, you know, because it, but uh, in Genesis 20, verse 6 says, this is the first resurrection. There's only one first resurrection. So I feel like the church uh, is going to be here involved in a lot more than we think. I think wow. so, too.